Ridhoracharya was an Indian mathematician, Sanskrit pundit and philosopher. He was born in Purishresti village in South Radha in the 8th century AD. His father's name was Balade Vacharya and mother's name was Akkoka. His father was also a Sanskrit pundit. Works, he was known for two treatises, Trisataka and the Pataganita. His major work Pataganitasra was named Trisataka because it was written in 300 slokas. The book discusses counting of numbers, measures, natural number, multiplication, division, zero, squares, cubes, fraction, rule of three, interest calculation, joint business or partnership and mensuration. He gave an exposition on zero. He has written, if zero, zero, is added to any number, the sum is the same number. If zero, zero, is subtracted from any number, the number remains unchanged. If zero, zero, is multiplied by any number, the product is zero, zero. He has said nothing about division of any number by zero, zero. In the case of dividing a fraction he has found out the method of multiplying the fraction by the reciprocal of the divisor. He wrote on practical applications of algebra, he separated algebra from arithmetic, he was one of the first to give a formula for solving quadratic equations. Derivation. Multiply both sides by 4a. Subtract 4ak from both sides. Add to both sides. Since. Complete the square on the left side. Take square roots. And, divide by 2a. Biography. Sridhara is now believed to have lived in the 9th and 10th centuries. However, there has been much dispute over his date and in different works the dates of the life of Sridhara have been placed from the 7th century to the 11th century. The best present estimate is that he wrote around 900 AD, a date which is deduced from seeing which other pieces of mathematics he was familiar with and also seeing which later mathematicians were familiar with his work. Some historians give Bengal as the place of his birth while other historians believe that Sridhara was born in southern India. Sridhara is known as the author of two mathematical treatises, namely the Trisataka and the Pataganita. However at least three other works have been attributed to him, namely the Bijaganita, Navasati, and Padpati. Information about these books was given the works of Bhaskara II, Makaipata, and Raghavapata. K. S. Scheichla examines Sridhara's method for finding rational solutions of, which Sridhara gives in the Patagonita. Scheichla states that the rules given there are different from those given by other Hindu mathematicians. Sridhara was one of the first mathematicians to give a rule to solve a quadratic equation. Unfortunately, as indicated above, the original is lost and we have to rely on a quotation of Sridhara's rule from Bhaskara II. Multiply both sides of the equation by a known quantity equal to 4 times the coefficient of the square of the unknown. Add to both sides a known quantity equal to the square of the coefficient of the unknown. Then take the square root. Proof of the Sridhoracharya formula, before this we have to know his famous EQN of discriminant, d, equals b2-4 ak let us consider. Multiplying both sides by 4a. Subtracting from both sides then adding to both sides. We know that. Using it in the equation. Taking square roots. Hence, dividing by get. In this way, he found the proof of two roots. See also, list of Indian mathematicians. Bibliography, O'Connor, John J. Robertson, Edmund F. Sridhara, Makshita History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. The Date of Sridharacharya by S. Srikantha Sastri, The Jaina Antiquary.